Lightning had their way with the Blackhawks last year. Here's their first first get together this year, which is underway. Saves picks off a centering attempt. Tyler Johnson rolled it loose. And a takeaway by Stankos. He's got a two on one of the counter attack. Stankos takes a look, wants to pass it, drops it back. Here's a shot attempt. It's fan down. Then Stankos to the goal post. He blew it by Fleury point blank, but drew iron. And here's the veteran Corey Perry. He's been into the final. Now he turns it over. Here's Hagel. Center dock. Oh, and the shot might have been blocked. I'm not sure whether Vasilevsky got a piece or not. But Kirby Doc off a turnover, set up beautifully by Hague. He did, in fact, get a piece of that, but what a beautiful opportunity, point blank, for the Hawks. Great job recovering the puck at the blue line. Oh, it's the shaft mouse. of the stick. Oh, my. Point gains his own, trying to chip and chase. Sylvan got there first, though, and the Hawks turn it over. Quick shot, great save, Flurry. Oh, a pass by Johnson went right to the Lightning, and a trigger from... A former MVP of the league. Raiden points pass. Pick out of midair beautifully by Jones. And it's taken by Debrinkit. Trying to fight his way ahead. Debrinkit wants Kane. He's right. Oh, he had the puck jump three. Would have been in cold turkey. Kane threw it back. Here's a quick shot. Throw him. He scores! Down Straw. What a backhand pass. About a 60-footer for Patrick Kane right there. And Straw buried it. The Hawks with the lead. And the Hawks were able to transition the puck up the ice the other way. Excellent finish by Dylan Strom. Had a couple of goals in the previous game against the Flyers, but here's Kane, the little shoulder check, Colby. He sees Dylan Strom in another beautiful pass. The Blackhawk bench a little animated about a too many men. The officials just missed. A wide open, Hedman sees it up. And a shot block in front. Rebound deflected up high and wide as Flurry was down. Here's Ruda. Block shot right there by the Hawks in the defensive end to get the puck back up the ice, and they're giving... Tampa Bay some problems. Here's Murphy, a snap shot, goal post, rebound to Brinkett, and that shot was blocked, rebound! is picked up by the visitors. So it's important right off the draw, especially against Tampa Bay. Here's a takeaway, Sorelli to the attack. Anthony Sorelli cuts in, snaps it off, Food by Flurry! Don't try to do anything more, but love to flash the leather. <laughs> up the board. Held in by Sergachev. Goes the other way. Foot pass was broken up. Now quick shot. They score! Oh, a fortunate bounce for the Lightning. An initial pass was blocked and dribbled right toward the middle and uh, Taylor Radish took a whack and connected and the Lightning have the tying goal. And Kirby Doc is on him, but he's not playing him physically right there, so Radish is able to pick up the loose puck and just throw it on net, it kind of catches Marc-Andre Fleury off guard, but there's also track it, traffic in front right there, so... Moved it ahead, Hagel made a good pass, here's Kane, he's snapping off, he's going! Patrick Kane blew it by the gloved hand of Vasilevsky, and the Hawks back in front! And beats one of the best goaltenders in the world. I've always loved watching Patrick Kane play against the Tampa Bay Lightning because I think both these teams bring out the best in each other, but especially Patrick Kane. When he's on the ice with the best, you see the best. And so far, a goal and an assist in this game for him. And they fight for it in the corner. The Lightning win the battle. And a great keep by Seth Jones. Here's Kane. Take a look. Kane. Touch pass in front for Johnson. Great save, Vasilevsky. Oh, the Blackhawks. Three or four grade A chances on this power play. One of the great snipers in the history of the league. Dropped it back. One timer Kucherov. Save, Flurry. Rebound held in by Hedman. And again, Kucherov for Killorn. Looking back door. Couldn't find Stamkos. Kucherov again. He finds Stamkos. Put it in front. Hedman to drive. He scores. And for Hedman right after the Blackhawks. Penalty had expired. Able to power it through. Traffic and into the back of the net, we're even. From Kucherov to Stamkos, but they have a lot of weapons, Victor Hedman being one of them. They don't see it, and Stamkos does a great job moving the puck up to the top just as the penalty is expiring, and he just rips that one in. Top shelf on Marc-Andre Fleury. Great point back out. Now foot. Over to McDonough. Now take it by Kucherov to McDonough on timer. Save! Fleury rebound is loose. They hack it for foot. He scores! Now foot. The Dogs could not get the handle of a bouncing puck in the goal mouth. And two quick goals for the Lightning. They regain the lead. 
not in time for them to continue to set up the offense and Tampa Bay just does a really nice job at wearing them down getting a physical presence in front and then the second opportunity comes right into the hands of Cal Foot. They're hacking and whacking away, but Sorelli actually, it looks like on the replay. Lightning keep control, however, and here comes Hedman. Goes down low point. Great shift here for the Lightning. And here's Sergeyev along quick shot. Oh, what a save and redirect. Great stop. Flurry. It's in behind for point. Dropped it now. Hedman on low. He scores! Victor Hedman, his second goal of the game. A one timer that doubles the Lightning lead. We've got two different players in front for the Hawks. Not a lot of traffic. And I think it ends up going five hole on Marc Andre Fleury. His frustration as he walks away from that after the play. But here it is again. Moving the puck up and around quickly, catching the Hawks a little bit out of position. A lot of confusion, and when they get going, all five of their players play offense. Well, Perry steal, he shoots, he scores! Corey Perry scores his 402nd NHL goal. That is uh, two goals, 13 seconds for Tampa Bay. A turnover in the defensive zone, and we talked at the beginning of this game, those are the kind of plays you have to get a handle on that puck. And Corey Perry... Just aggressive on the four check, is able to corral it and put it past Mark andre Fleury. The Lightning now with a three-goal lead, and the Hawks have to do something to stop the bleeding. It's still getting this team to buy in and find ways to win games without their top players in the lineup. Lightning a face-off point, a long shot. Tip, they score! That's Zergachev with a long one that was redirected on the way. That is three goals. In 32 seconds. It's just a face-off win to the point, and now the Lightning just putting everything they have on net. Kelly, Kelly Flower never even had a chance to see this one. It's the moving screen between Joseph and I think Ross Colton as they sort of crisscross between the top of the circle and the hash mark. And, you know, Marc-Andre Fleury. Tampa Bay really in control of this game right now. They're not making it easy on the Hawks to get in the zone off the rush. Go, go! Going up the board, held in by Strong. His long snapshot. Tip the score! That might have been a Tampa stick that tipped it, or it could have been the cat. And the Blackhawks able to score their third tonight. And it goes in the back of the net. Once again, good net front presence by Debrinkit and Kane. And it's enough to get past Vasilevsky. Yeah, Kelly, and it's one of those plays for Alex to break it where he's in the corner, and for any of you youngsters out there, he doesn't admire the play. The puck goes out to the point, and instead of puck watching, he heads right towards the net. Fortunately, it kind of hits him on the way in with his stick positioning. So clear to center to break it, trying to fight through Ruta. He did to break it, driving, trying to center, open net. Oh, what a save oh by Vasilevsky, <laughs> Patrick Kane. Looking skyward, how did that not go in? Side on this backdoor play, the cat to Kane. Look out, it should be a goal. Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh. I was saying his mentor Ben Bishop. I talked to Rick Bonus earlier this year when the Hawks played Dallas, and he was saying it's too bad because when Ben Bishop is on his game, he's a top three goaltender in the world. He's Wayne Gretzky's favorite guy when he was in Edmonton, so it says a lot about him. The Tampa Bay Lightning come from behind to record their 37th victory of the year. And look at that. Andre Vasilevsky has never been beaten.